Waste management not only keeps our country clean, it also creates jobs for the unemployed. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Now, on International Zero Waste Day, Joanne Otto from the Cape Winelands municipality is calling on communities to clean up to make a coin. From an invest, investment perspective, when we look at communities where they are um, investors want to come in and let's say build a shop, a small shopping mall with a, a sh with a supermarket and a few other little shops. They want to know that their property is going to be safe and it's going to be looked after and it's going to be clean and maintained. So when a community exhibits a cleanliness and a hygiene, it's it's also making it more attractive for investment. So you can imagine in a, a community where there's few job opportunities, the impact of having a supermarket that immediately creates job opportunities and those job opportunities even stretch into recycling where the, the, the business has, for example, cardboard that it has, um, that it discards, and that can start up a small business that allows somebody to collect all their recyclable waste and take it to um, the local recycling plant where they then earn an income. Furthermore, obviously the jobs that it creates, the family wellness that it's created when somebody in the in the community or in a home has a job. So the the re the real impact of waste management is not only on keeping a nice environment and on the bee birds and the bees and on the on the trees and our plastic recycling, but it's really also on the health and the wealth and the dignity of our communities. And that's why it's really important that we start addressing how we treat waste in our communities.